you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, um, so my name's uh, Angel Sanchez. I'm currently a pop artist and I do music. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been doing music for, for a while now, so yeah. Cool, where are you from? I am from California. Oh, cool, awesome. Um, yeah. What made you want to become a music artist? You know, it's funny because um, when I started um, like music, I, uh, I had no idea that I was like gonna like it, but um, I got my first guitar when I was eight. And since like then, like it was weird, but back then I used to be into soccer a lot. So I would play a lot of sports. So um, my focus wasn't like 100% on music. But um, when I picked up my guitar, it was really easy for me to learn. And I didn't really notice that till like I was older. Um, I never had trouble with like the strings because you know how a lot of people have trouble like pressing on the strings and like they have they have a hard time like adjusting their fingers. Well, I never had a trouble. Um, I never had trouble with that. So um, it was really easy for me. And I learned guitar when I was eight. Um, I played it for like a year and then I kind of got into soccer again. And I was just like, I kind of forgot about it till I got to my senior year of high school. And my friends were like telling me to join choir. And I was there like, hey, you should join choir. Oh, it's really fun. We go like on trips and you should just try it out. So I was like, all right, I'll try it out. So I ended up joining choir. And um, since I since I started singing on there, like I just fell in love with it. Once we like performed for the first time, I just, I don't know, I just felt like it was right for me. So since then I was like, you know what? I feel like I need to do this and just like pursue a career in music. And since then I've been going at it. Wow, that's really cool. So you started playing guitar at a very young age. Yeah. Did you um, play any other instruments as well? Yeah, so soon, right after I uh, got out of high school, I was like, you know what, I want to learn the piano. And um, But first, I picked up a ukulele since I was like already knew how to play guitar. Um, I was like, I'm going to pick up a ukulele and learn how to play that. And I did, and I got that. And then when I started um, college, I went and learned the piano as well. And I was, and I self-taught myself like everything. So, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's really cool. What is your writing process like? When writing a song? Mm, yes. Sorry. Okay. So um, what I like to do first is um, I just mess around with the guitar or the piano, depending on what, what I'm doing. Um, I kind of just like find chords and just kind of like loop them. And honestly, like sometimes I don't really have like a topic that I write about. I kind of just like freestyle it. So I kind of just first find out the chords that I want to use. And then when I kind of like have like a vibe going with the, with the music, then I just start adding random lyrics into it. I'm just like dropping like a sentence of random words and whatever I like. I'm like, okay, I'm going to write the song about this. I know that I noticed that you had a music video release on January 1st, the start of the year. What a great way to start yes. the year. Yes. Um, it was called Leave Me Here. And I listened to it and I watched the video and it was really beautiful. I thought along with the piano, it was great. Um, I was just wondering, what was the song about? Thank you. So well, this is what's funny because it's about like somebody like leaving you so it's basically kind of like like it, it talks about like relationship basically so I, I don't want you like uh, to be a part of my life it was that kind of thing and it's funny because when I wrote this song like I have never dated anyone like before so like I wrote this song by the way I wrote this song a long time ago um but I um I had originally wrote it for uh with a friend well, I wrote it myself, but it was for like uh, some beats that my friend sent me. And um, it was for a song that he wanted. And in the end, we didn't end up doing anything with it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. Um, but where was I going with this? <laughs> yeah, so originally, like the song is about like being left by someone. But since I had never experienced that yet, I just kind of like made it a story. And that's what I like to do. I like to tell stories. So a lot of the times the songs aren't like about myself, but I do take some stuff about myself and put it into the songs. But um, yeah, like I just like to tell stories a lot of the times in my songs. So I just kind of like go off of like the topic, like lead. So like, like I said, like when I started writing the song, I was like, I came across that line, like leave me here. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make it about somebody like leaving you. And I just went off of that. Well, you do a pretty good job with your storytelling. <laughs> that was pretty good, honestly. Um, 
I was gonna ask you too. So, did you ever plan on doing an album sometime, or more music videos, or? Yes, definitely. Um, I was actually working on a Spanish album like during the whole quarantine thing, and um, I think I'm just gonna hold off on like offer it um for a bit, just uh, because I just wanted to experiment with English as well. Because I had originally I had just released Spanish music, so I wanted to give English music try first and then see what happens and then um after that release an album but yeah definitely i want an album coming soon yeah cool yeah i i was gonna say because i've seen that you've done spanish music and also you have songs in english as well when you do come out with an album or you know more projects do you plan to do like mm -hmm. more one way or the other or what do you what do you enjoy the most i'm I'm going to try to keep like a balance between the two because I really like doing both. Um, my And obviously like my my music in Spanish is a little bit different than my English music. So I, I really like both. both. So I'm going to try to like kind of like keep them together or even do something like mix like a Spanglish kind of thing. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just kind of like experimenting with English as, as, as of now, I'm just experimenting. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the future, I, I find a way to like blend them together and just, uh, yeah really get a sound going for me. Cool, cool. Um, is there a song of yours that is your favorite? You like to play as your favorite or? So I am currently writing one right now that it's not finished yet. And that one is by far my favorite song I've written. It's it's an, it's an English song I've, I've written um, that I'm writing right now. I'm not even finished writing it, but I love it so far. And like, I feel like it's gonna do really, really good. Ooh, so I'm excited for that one. Exclusive. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, it's exciting. Um, are there any songs you've heard, like, from other artists that you've wished that you could have been featured on it or, you know? Yes. <laughs> I I really like Ali Gady right now. Um, I feel like a lot of, it, like, his music kind of, like, is kind of, like, close to the style that I want to, like, go to towards in English. I really like Lie to Me, but obviously he already has like, he featured with uh, Tay McRae in that song. So, um, but yeah, that's a really cool song. I really liked it. Something like that would be really cool to like, you know, be featured in, or with like a Spanish pop artist like Becky G. I really, I would really love to work with her. So, cool. Yeah. What was the artist's name again? Not Becky G, the other one you mentioned. Who was it? Who was it? Ali, Ali Gady. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. That'd be neat. Yeah. Um, I also asked that as well because I've seen you've done a cover of uh, Lonely by Justin Bieber and I thought that was really cool as well so <laughs> that was um, yeah well thank you yeah that uh, he would also be really cool obviously who wouldn't want to collab with Justin Bieber <laughs> no yeah no but that was or Sean Mendes you know some, like so like what are some future goals of yours with you know regarding your music career like any mm -hmm. awards you want to win or any places you want to perform or yeah definitely um I well for now my my goals as of right now is obviously just grow my fan base um grow on Spotify grow like on all platforms and obviously I want to obviously like do a world tour at some point like go on tour um perform like at the Staples Center you know Times Square you know anywhere like, you know that's big and definitely like win an award of some sort, like best voice of the year, best, um, you know, or like even a Grammy, that would be like the biggest goal, you know, to win a Grammy. So that's definitely there. <laughs> what are, um, where are some places that your fans can follow you at? Like what social media platforms? So I am basically on everything. Um, and my username is basically the same on everything. It's just Angel H Sanchez. It's just my name with an H in the middle. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, um, mostly I'm more active on Instagram than I am in anything else. But um, yeah, I'm on everything. So if they want to follow on there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do more TikToks because right now that's that's what's really growing. But um, oh. yeah, I, I need to get more on that. Oh, cool. I didn't realize you're on TikTok. I never <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. How has that been? Like, I know a lot of artists who grow on there since the pandemic especially as well like how do you yeah well i haven't really like done it like like hardcore so 
I can't really say that I like it or, or not because I kind of just like share the same vids that I post on Instagram to TikTok. Um, but I should start actually like, you know, actually try it to see if I can go on there because <laughs> I haven't really done much with it. But yeah, I should. Yeah. Well, you got time. You got plenty of time and your fans aren't going. The fans you have now definitely aren't going anywhere. <laughs> um, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then so your music video, Leave Me Here. I was just wondering where where did you shoot that anyway? And so, yeah. that was shot in my hometown, oh. um, in Merced, California. Um, that's where I'm from. Um, it's a little city um, in the Central Valley. I don't know if you've heard of that, but um, kind of like I'm kind of like in the middle of um, San Francisco and LA. Kind of like you know, yeah. So like two hours away from San Francisco. Um, so it's not too too bad. But yeah, there's not much here. It's pretty small, but yeah. <laughs> so it's you know, and we shot it like in the downtown area of the of the city. Cool. So you did want you said I remember you saying you want to move to LA, but you couldn't. Um, you still plan to move to LA? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. As soon as COVID's over, I'm heading over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's my plan. That's good. I was I was just gonna say it doesn't sound like it's too far, so yeah oh it's not like whenever i want i like want to go i can just drive up there it's like four hours away oh, cool. for me that's not too bad so like i i, I always go there when i when i want to so it's not, it's not bad. yeah it's pretty far from michigan but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um so uh, is there anything um that you wish you could have done last year that you couldn't do or um travel <laughs> yeah i wanted to travel last year i wanted to go at least to um at least out of state you know because i haven't i haven't really left because of covid um yeah definitely that <laughs> yeah and then i know you said you hope to tour places is there a place that you just want your want to be your first place to tour at or I think a U.S. a U.S. tour would be cool first, since I I live here, kind of just like go around the states, and um, then after that maybe like go, maybe even go to like Europe or like Mexico, since I I sing in Spanish, so yeah. That's cool. Oh yeah, I think that'd be pretty, that'd be fun, I bet. Is there anything else you want to mention to fans or any advice you have for fans of yours? Well, to just, just to keep listening, because I'm going to be releasing some really cool stuff soon. So yeah, just to stay tuned. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, definitely coming out with a lot of like projects this year. Um, so yeah. Oh, I hear that. Stay tuned. <laughs> so <laughs> it was so nice to meet you, Angel. I uh, appreciate you doing this. Um, and again, my name is Katarina. This is Impact 89 FM interview. And I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Thank you, you too.